Luxury watches are strange. Few people notice, even fewer care. I suspect it's kinda like any hobby though, when people do care, you instantly have a conversation. Most people don't care but the right ones do. Full disclosure, I'm guessing as I have never been a watch person. The really baffling status chasing to me is when people buy a base model car and then put the badges on it from a nicer version of that car. Truly, nobody will notice except for enthusiasts who instantly know the car is misbadged anyway. Friendly reminder that there are solid watch brands at literally every price point imaginable. Honestly, I always thought luxurious watches are something that you buy for yourself. After all, you plan on telling the time with it on a regular basis, so it would make sense that some people would rather look at their authentic 10k watch instead of the cheap knockoff which looks similar enough, but they will know it's not real. Now I'm not a watch expert or anything, I don't wear one myself since I have a phone to tell the time but I feel like it's more about looking at it every day instead of other people noticing it. The only person who needs to care is the person wearing it. If it makes them happy and they can afford it, I don't see an issue. A watch can be a tool, a piece of jewelry, a work of art, a lesson in history, a feat of engineering, or an heirloom that carries a lifetime of scars and stories from the person who wore it. Few other objects pack so much cool into so little space. The ticking of the movement and the sweep of the hands remind me of our limited time on earth. It's a subtle reminder to pause and appreciate every second that I have. I don't have a luxury watch, but also not a cheap one, it's about $400. The reason I am wearing it is not so much showing off but to feel good about myself. It's a accessory and I think the reason people wear very expensive watches is just that. A hand-tailored suit and a nice watch makes you confident and feel good about yourself. And I doubt the wearer cares that those that can't afford it didn't notice. Coming from someone who can't afford it. As one of those with PPL, the first thing I notice when meeting other PPL are their watches. I feel that you are missing the point. When buying luxury items that are for personal use, it's for me to use and enjoy and not for other people to notice or care. I don't personally buy luxury watches, but when I have a premium item for my own use, I personally would rather that other people don't notice. I'm not interested in what other people think or how they react to my things. It can actually be a bit irritating if too many people ask about a particular item. I notice that they are a good prop at poker tables. People definitely notice, and they make inferences that can be helpful. And other watch collectors definitely notice. More importantly, if you buy the right watch, and take care of it, it will only go up in value. I brought a steel Daytona in to be serviced, and I was offered more than twice what I paid for it 10 years ago. It's not about people noticing. If that's what you care about that says more about you. A quality timepiece is enjoyed for its very high level of craftsmanship, attention to detail, beautiful dials, and for me impressive complications. A classic moon phase, a unique day date, a sweeping seconds hand, or even the astronomia which tells the exact positions of the planets in their orbit. All running quietly and smoothly without a battery. They are often one of those subtle signs that tell others in the know that you too are one of them. Also they are really expensive and basically another type of bling aka drip. I don't really have any luxury watches, but I've got a couple that were each over a thousand dollars. I didn't buy them because I want people to notice or care. I notice them and I care, and that's all that matters to me. Not everyone buys luxury items because they want to be noticed, it's entirely possible to spend house money on a watch that nobody would ever think twice about unless they know what it is. It is for yourself. There are kind of similar things in golf clubs. I have a Scotty Cameron 009. It is pretty and kind of rare. I don't care if anyone else sees it or cares. It makes me happy to look at and putt with. I have never had really expensive watches, but I used to be a huge watch person for a number of years. I still have dozens in a box that I don't wear anymore. I spent a lot of money over the years on watches. For me it was all about how I felt. I felt successful and put together with a high quality, beautiful watch that I liked. Brought about a confidence in me that I felt could help the rest of my day. 
Sometimes people would notice and comment, which was always nice, but I always wore them for myself. I felt that they helped me look put together. Luxury watches are strange for those too poor to purchase them is how this should read. I know plenty of folks who both notice and truly care about those expensive as watches. They are really just used to convert your black money into a valuable. Imagine you have $5 million in the bank, you own your house, your car, and you've got nice clothes. You buy a watch for $30,000 and now. You've got $5 million in the bank. X200B. Few people notice, even fewer care. The buyer himself doesn't even need to care. He might just have cash to spend. They look cool. And can be symbol of pride and personal achievement. They also can be something you hand down through generations and such. A great gold watch never gets old to wear. I wear my nice watch for myself. A couple of times per year someone will compliment my watch, and usually it's someone who isn't doesn't wear one. It's a $500 Seiko, so for me expensive, but perhaps not luxury as the watch industry might define it. It was a gift from my father, and it's what I tell anyone who says hey, that's a nice watch. So few people notice or care that there is roughly a two-year wait list for new Rolex Submariners right now. Just because you may not appreciate high-quality functionality that will last a lifetime with no need for batteries or charging etc. don't assume that is as widespread as you believe. There are two kinds of luxury watches. One for people who want to show off they have money. And the other for people who don't. As a luxury watch collector myself, I couldn't care less about if people notice or care. That's not what it's about. What I do care about is craftsmanship, design, build quality, finishing, decoration, etc. I collect for me, not anyone else. Luxury watches are the opposite of strange. Most people buy them for themselves because it makes them happy, and not to show off to strangers. As a watch guy that is a good observation and good advice for someone trying to figure out what watch they want to get. If I want to get a certain watch, I do it because I enjoy it, not because I think it will attract attention in any capacity. I own a couple famous classic pieces from various price ranges, and only twice has anyone ever bothered to comment. But I buy the watches I have because I personally like them, their stories, histories, and their designs. I felt this way about designer handbags for a while. I didn't care at first, until a family member opened my eyes to all the different designers out there. Now I can't unsee them and notice. I feel that way about all jewelry and clothes, but that's just a personal opinion. I could also say the same thing about collecting stamps or hobbies like that, but just because I'm not into it doesn't make it strange. Then there's the Nixie Tube Watch. It's highly unusual and quite a conversation starter. I've had hundreds of casual acquaintances ask me about it. Bonus is I get to say that I made it myself. Why do you want other people to notice or care? Buy things that you can afford that make you happy. I really like watches. Nobody notices them, you're right. Which makes it a perfect hobby for me as I don't really enjoy attention. Says the guy who drives a convertible Porsche lol. You can make a good return on investment if you are lucky or smart. If you buy a luxury watch, you buy it for yourself. It can be a conversation, maybe you enjoy the engineering, maybe it feels like jewelry for you. For me it's the mechanics and engineering. I've been wearing a Citizen for a while now, it was passed down to me, it's a 17 or so year old watch. It reminds me of my family. I like nice watches because they feel nice. I don't like brands I like stuff that has an automatic movement, sapphire crystal, and well-made bracelet. Double-domed crystals are even better in my opinion. But then again I'm a nerd, I got bored and built my own watch just so it was what I wanted. 